Hey guys, it is that time again. It is time for a favorites video. I do have quite a few things to talk about, of course. I do have a tutorial on this look. It should be my next video, so keep a lookout for that. If not, I will link it down below. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just jump right in. First thing is this Makeup Geek Cream Showstopper. This is in Tango. It's a cream stain. I love this color. Oh my goodness. Now these are a weird formula. At first I was like, eh, kind of iffy, but oh, God, it's so beautiful. But if you just dip it in there and apply the bottom lip and then dip it in one more time and apply the top lip, it is good to go. It is beautiful. It lasts forever and it fades perfectly. Like I don't know how to explain it. It just kind of like fades all the way off. It doesn't like leave a weird like liner on your lips or like look really gross. You know what I mean? But this color like specifically is just a beautiful, beautiful summer shade. I cannot wait to wear this. It's so much more bright in person. I feel like the camera isn't going to pick that up, but it is super bright. It's super beautiful. And I just, I love, love, love this shade. Again, this one is Tango from Makeup Geek. Really good. Next one is this Dose of Colors Bear With Me. I have been wearing this non-stop. I got this when I went to IMAX, and it's just the perfect, like, pinky nude. It is beautiful. Again, these last so good throughout the day. They do wear off, like, and you get, like, little butthole lips, but that's okay. I just reapply it. It doesn't bother me very much. The color and the formula is just worth it to me. It is beautiful. I have been wearing this non-stop. It's like my everyday go-to for work, honestly. I just, I keep this in my purse all the time because it's just a perfect color just to throw on. Even if I don't know like what I want to wear that day, it just, it suits so many different things because the tone of it is so perfect. It's like a muted, like taupey bright pink. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's perfect. And I love it. And that was a dose of colors fair with me. Next thing is actually surprising to me. This is the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Daddy. I did not think I was going to like this color as much as I do. I, oh my goodness. See, it's just beautiful. I'm normally not into like those weird like brownish like colors on my lips. But this one just has the perfect like deeper taupe undertone. I don't know how to explain it. It's just gorgeous. I do have a video like going over this whole collab, so I'll link that down below. I talk a little bit more about it. But this color is just so unique and so different. And I just I didn't think I was gonna like it, honestly. Truthfully. <laughs> but it is so beautiful. I just I love the color. And these liquid lips are just one of my favorite formulas of life. It's just a beautiful shade. Next is gonna be a gloss. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in Toffee. You guys, this is just the perfect, like, oh, I got that everywhere. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't mind the swatch, but this is just like a purpley mauve color. It's deeper, but it's not like, wow, that's like crazy deep. It's just beautiful. It's such a high shine gloss that it's like beautiful. It makes your lips look so much bigger than they are. <laughs> And it's just, it's gorgeous. I love this shade. Again, this one is really unique. Like I said, it's like a purpley, brownish mauve color. Again, it's hard to explain. I'm the worst, but it is just stunning. And I love having this in my purse just to throw over any liquid lip that may have like faded kind of funky that I forgot to bring. Or just, you know, just to throw on top of anything because it is beautiful and I always love a good gloss. So this is Toffee from Anastasia and it is just perfection. Love this little guy. And the last lip favorite is going to be the MAC and Laura Lee collab. It is what I'm wearing right now. It is just the most stunning lipstick, I think, ever. I did go ahead and wash off all those other swatches, but it is the perfect pinky everyday nude. It's not too bright. It's not too coral. It's not too taupe. It's just perfection, and I could not put it down. I've only had it for, like, maybe, what, two weeks? A week and a half? I don't even know, but it is... My perfect color, I fell in love with it the second I put it on. It wears beautiful, it's matte, and I just, oh, I love it. <laughs> Next product is going to be the Benefit Gimme Brow. I am so late to the game on this one, but it is perfection. I normally, where is it? I used to use the NYX uh, Micro, or what is it? Tinted Brow Mascara, and that just does nothing with this, like nothing. <laughs> this is just amazing. I love how tiny the little wand is and everything. It's just 
perfect. It does kind of fill your brows in a little bit more. It gives them a little bit more oomph, you know what I mean? And it's just, it's that good. I absolutely love it. I will continue to repurchase this. It's just, it was so, so good, you guys. If you haven't tried this out, make sure you do because it is, it's just so good. So I have one new brush favorite, which is random for me, but this is the Tarte what is this? That unicorn set? I don't know what this one was for. I think it's just called their powder brush. This thing is just the softest brush ever. I use it every single day to like set my face with my translucent powder and it's just, it's so perfect. It even is starting to get like a little, I don't know, like a little flat top on this side because I know which I like to use, which is funny, but it's just perfect. It is so soft. It has like, the perfect density where it doesn't like remove coverage from my face, but it just applies the powder and just sets my face so perfectly and this is just beautiful. I love picking this up every day. Tarte did an amazing job on these brushes, and but this one is just like a game changer. Like this is my favorite brush of the month. It is perfect. So the next favorite is going to be the Violet Gloss and Laura Lee palette. This, guys, oh god, it's so beautiful. This is the palette right here. I've done a tutorial with this already, so I'll link it down below if you haven't seen that. But this is just perfection. This is like my new everyday kind of palette and I have to say of course my favorite shades are more of the warm tones but this one right here, Purse Pot, Fried, Whiskers, Rammer Jammer, they're all just so beautiful. I love them. They blend so good. They're so soft, so pigmented. She did an amazing job on this palette and it's just, it's so beautiful. I feel like the price for this palette was like right on too. It wasn't like too crazy. It is. It's really sad that it was limited edition. I don't know if you can get this at all anymore. I got mine at IMATS, but it is just perfect. I love it. <laughs> it's just beautiful. The Violet Gloss palettes are quickly becoming a new favorite of mine. Just in general, I have to say, I feel like this one's going to be in my next month's favorite. This is the Holy Grail palette. It's what I have on my eyes today. So I'll link that video down below if you haven't seen that one either, or whichever one is at first. But sneak peek, because holy balls. It's beautiful. So next I just have a few like random favorites, but this is the O'Keeffe's Working Hands Hand Cream. I don't know if I've talked about this before, but this is new to me because it's now in a tube. I love this stuff, but I hated that it was in like a little pot container. And oh my goodness, this stuff just does wonders for my hands. I have the worst hands ever, you guys. It is so bad. And I do drink a lot of water, but my hands just get so dry after like washing them so much for work and stuff. But this is the only lotion that doesn't make my hands feel greasy. It doesn't like go away after two minutes. You don't need a lot of it. It has no scent. And it's just, it's amazing. You can get this at Walmart, CVS, wherever. But if you haven't tried this out, definitely do it if your hands are really dry. They have one for your feet now too. It's unscented, non-greasy, and hyperallergenic. So pretty much everything I just said. But it is just so, so good. It's cheap. It works good. And I just, I love this stuff. It's so dependable. I keep one in my purse. I keep one by my bedside because I wake up with the driest hands. So weird, but I have to have lotion by my bed every single time, like every night. I just have to have some type of lotion by me at all times. And it's always that one. <laughs> a little bit of a shocker. I have an update coming soon. But I've been using the CeraVe Facial Foaming Cleanser. Foaming Facial Cleanser. Yeah. I was watching one of Lister Lux or um, Katie's videos. And she was using this, and it's for normal to oily skin, helps repair and restore protective skin barrier, non-comedogenic, non-drying, non-irritating, everything I want in a cleanser. It is pretty cheap too, it's not too crazy expensive, but I don't know, I feel like the one I was using, the Belief one, was working really, really well. I just feel like I needed like a really gentle, easy cleanser in the morning to just remove any dirt that may have gotten on my face. And I just feel like this one is really good. I was just going through that other one so quick and it's a little bit more pricey so and it's hard to get it's Sephora has been sold out of it forever on their website and my little tiny Sephora here in Amarillo doesn't have their selection which is really sad but yeah so I have been loving this I've used it for about since Chicago so I think I'm on day six and I have to say I've loved it the first few like the first few days I used it I did notice a difference in my skin 
like a few of the blemishes were already a lot smaller, which is great. So obviously it's good for acne prone skin. And I have just been really, really enjoying it. I will do a skin update if you want to, if you guys want to see that. So let me know down below in the comments. But yeah, definitely been loving this. I finally got my hands on the Belief, what is it? <laughs> the True Cream Aqua Balm. So this has gotten so much hype. I really wanted to try this out. And I have to say, I have loved it even more than my Tarte H2O. I know. I know. <laughs> that is insane for me. But it is so good. It's so thick and rich and just moisturizing. This at night just feels so, so good. I will still use the Tarte H2O in the morning if I feel like I need a little extra kick. Otherwise, I stay with my Aveeno Clear Complexion one. But this... And you need the tiniest amount. It's so good. I absolutely love this. I'm so glad I picked this up. Thank you to everyone who was telling me, try it out, try it out, because I did, and girl, I like it. So, another random is the Deluxe Bronze Mousse from Loving Tan. I have not had this in my life since last summer, and I just picked up a new bottle, and I'm going to do it sometime this weekend, probably. I love this stuff, you guys. I'll try and find some pictures of me, like, forever ago, last summer. Oh, gosh. And I'll show you the difference in my skin. Like, I am the fairest that I will get right now. I have, like, no sun on me. But this just makes you look so, like, sun-kissed and beautiful. You don't look orange. It's really easy to apply as long as you, like, exfoliate and do all that kind of stuff. Let me know if you like to, like, hear my fake tan routine. I'm not one of those people who will come on here in a bathing suit and like show you scrubbing my body and putting this on because I just feel like those are so awkward <laughs> and so weird and I would just, I'm not that girl, okay? There's plenty of videos for that. But I do really, really love this stuff. I am so excited to have it back in my life. This is always going to be a favorite of mine because it's just so easy to use. The color is there and it lasts such a long time and it's just perfection. So, love this stuff. So that is all of my April favorites. I do have a few misses. So we're going to get on with those. These are the pure sponges that we got. I think it was BoxyCharm. These just didn't work for me. I don't know. I've heard really good things about the pure sponges, but these are so stiff. Even trying to just bake with it, it was like skipping on my face. I don't know how to explain it. But, ooh, that was cute. But it's just, they're so stiff. I don't know how to explain it. Like, the Beauty Blender, where is that thing? Okay, I don't know where mine disappeared too. But the Beauty Blender is just so soft. Even the Real Technique sponge. This to me feels like the Real Technique sponge, but like double. So if you took like the amount of bounce with the Real Technique sponge, but added like extra to it, that's what I feel like this is. And it's just not good. I was so sad. I was so excited for these because one, they're adorable and I love the colors. And I even washed them all before trying them and they didn't bleed, which is good. But I don't know. Not for me, not for me. <laughs> this one makes me so, so sad. So I picked this up at iMats. It's the Benefit Professional. Everybody loves it, raves about it. I don't know what it is, but mine has the strongest fragrance. I feel like I'm sniffing a perfume. Like, I'm not even kidding. Maybe I got a bad tube. I might pick up another one and see if it has the same scent. But mine is so, so strong. But I used this twice. So, well, two separate times. So I used it... For like three to four days in a row, both times, right when I got back from eye mats, I was loving it. I was like, oh my gosh, my face looks amazing when I apply my makeup. And then I broke out so bad with like these huge cystic acne bumps and then just little bitty bumps all over my face. And it was only in like my T-zone where I applied this. And I didn't use anything else different. And I was like, well, maybe it was a fluke. I did travel. Maybe it was that. But no, girl. I tried this last week too. It's a no-go for me. I don't know. My skin just does not like this. I can't, like, a lot of people say theirs isn't that fragranced. Mine it smells like I'm sniffing a perfume. I'm not kidding. So maybe I did get a dud. I might go to Sephora or something or Ulta and look at another one. But my face just doesn't like it. And it makes me so sad. I wanted to love this so bad. I really wanted to. So these are kind of weird. Okay, now these look so beautiful sitting right here, right? Okay, these are the Violet Boss, like, unicorn set, limited edition, whatever, lashes. It's the trio. They're so short. Like, I can't even explain to you how just little these are. Like, that's, I'm going to show you. Like, that's my hand, and that is how little the little bitty lashes are. That inner corner lash is, like, 
not even like the size of a tip of a pencil. They are so short and like teeny, teeny, tiny. I don't know, I just don't feel like they're worth putting on. And then they're super thick, right at the band only. And then it's like, I don't know, it made me really sad. They were like, I don't know, like 35, I think, dollars too. But, I don't know. I'd rather spend my $3 on my Ardell Wispies that I have on right now that I love then spend the 35 on these, and they're so short and tiny and little. I was really sad. So far, I have loved everything else from Violet Boss, but the lashes, not so much. And that is going to be it for my April Favorites video. And a few misses this month, not horrible. But make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like my favorites videos, and I will keep doing them. Make sure you leave me a comment as well, letting me know what you liked this month, what you didn't like. I love hearing from you guys. And yeah, make sure you subscribe before you leave. Make sure you hit the little bell notification too so you know every time I upload and you won't miss a video from me. And I will see you in my next one. Bye! I can smell my chicken that I cooked. Smelling so good. Random. How beautiful is my water bottle? I love these. I think that's such a cute idea. So cute. Bye. Can you tell I'm feeling this look? <laughs>